Good morning guys, it is Friday the 20th of March um, and today is Harrison's last day at school for the foreseeable and I'm feeling a bit emotional about it. I feel like this is a really negative way to start a vlog but I feel like you'll understand like there's a lot of people that will probably be feeling exactly the same as I am um, about this whole thing so I don't want Harrison to see that I'm sad or hear that I'm sad um but it just is rubbish it really is rubbish he was just getting like he was really really thriving at school and I'm really worried that I'm gonna fail him in some way by not being able to like teach him I'm his mum of course I'm gonna be able to um it's just that pressure isn't it there's a million terrible things going on in the world right now in the grand scheme of things like what happens in this house is isn't important like it's important don't get me wrong it's not important i'm not being i don't know i've got to get the right words out in this circumstance i think you don't want to upset anybody you don't want to appear flippant or disregard anything else that's happening but obviously we're all having our own battles around this whether that's employment financial like strains childcare, work um illness and yeah it's just it's a lot it's a lot a lot a lot i think that's just it i think that is the way to explain this it's just a lot it's a lot for the world to take on it's a lot for an individual to take on and then you've got to imagine how hard it is for a child as well yesterday he was saying that he's going to really miss his teacher he loves his teacher um, and then last night he was saying that he's going to really miss playing tag with his friends this whole thing could just last a few weeks in terms of like school closures um it's probably going to last 12 weeks it's looking like um but it could also go right into like the summer hot days which I think that's what gets me the most, like I can deal with him having an extended Easter break um, or extended half term but the thought of this going on for such a long time, um, that's what gets me and that's pure, that's not because I don't want him at home, of course I want him at home, that's all I want um, but when kids are just, they're comfortable in school at this point and they've got their friends and they've got their normality to take them out of such a certain environment and put them in like such an uncertain one and it's like it's a lot it's a lot a lot, a lot. i'm gonna make them both a special breakfast um make myself a coffee you know what i think we're gonna have birthday cake for breakfast why not birthday cake for breakfast who wants birthday cake for breakfast me Evelyn? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evelyn. What do you want, darling? I want cereal. You want cereal? Alison, what would you like, darling? You can have whatever you like. I want cereal. I made a superhero. Come on. We have cake for dinner and then. Okay, you don't want cake for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> what would you like? Cereal. Of course, darling. Cake is off the menu. Who am I kidding? As like Monday comes around maybe once this weekend has passed um, we'll probably be feeling a lot better about the situation once we're in it um, last night I wrote up like a little schedule for at home learning for Harrison and then I really took time to like reflect on it and thought it was too much if you're happy for me too then I don't mind kind of sharing some of our at home learning days um, and things that I'm doing with Harrison I'm going to try not to make it too much um, and also I don't want this channel just to be like coronavirus, like heavy. Um, but yeah, let me know if that's one thing you want, if you want any ideas and things like that. Um, maybe I can go through like the resources that I'm gonna be using and stuff. I've got Mike working at home as well and he thinks I'm just being a little bit, I don't wanna say frantic because not being frantic, um, but just getting myself a little bit down about it all, watching the news all the time. I feel like it's impossible not to, like it's important that we kind of are because it's it's going on and there's a lot worse things happening than kids being taken out of school. Um, but he's like, can we just have a day where we don't talk about it? 
and I think that's going to be impossible today so maybe we'll have to do that tomorrow um, and then I've got my brother thinking that he said to me like it's funny you're not then because I can't stop crying I just keep crying then I'm happy then I'm crying I am not FYI uh, let me make that very very clear um, I was like, do not put that into the universe right now how are you feeling that today is your last day at school? How exciting? A little bit happy and a little bit sad. Why, darling? Because I love my teacher. Oh, and she loves you too, but she's still going to be in touch with us. She's going to send you work home. Yeah? That's cool. You'll see her soon. Yeah! Emily, how do you feel that you're not going to nursery for quite a while now? You want a teacher as well? Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? You're going to have your brother home for so long. That's so fun. Yeah, we're going to do all the cool stuff. So, your turn. So, just back from the school run. And surprisingly, I didn't get upset today. I think that's probably because I had Mike with me. He done the school run with me this morning. Um, and Everly was just <laughs> keeping us busy. So, whilst I was at school, like, there's things really that do just put things into perspective um so I'm here worrying that I'm not going to be able to like do enough work with Harrison and keep him like maintain his like education I guess um as well as maybe his teacher could do um and then there's parents at the school that haven't got access to a computer or a tablet or anything to get the work to begin with oh you really do just kind of realize those things are such a privilege. It's a shame that it's until things like this happen that you realise and how much you're kind of taken for granted really. I'm going to chuck on some makeup. I haven't put makeup on in like probably like nearing two weeks now. Um, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take Evelyn to the park I think because I'm pretty sure we're all going to be on like proper lockdown soon. So before that happens, um, yeah before that happens i really need to get her out get some fresh air although how much of this air is fresh right now oh my god it's driving me mad right let's go i to drop off a couple of school books uh what exercise books from harrison school to class members that haven't got them they've been off for a few days now um so i'm gonna go and drop those off i might stop by costa i think the drive through is still open um Am I? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I've got a bunch of stuff here in the car that I've had in here for a few days. Just some stuff that I've been kind of accumulating uh, activities to keep the kids busy. I'm going to take you through those shortly. Um, everybody's watching my phone in the background because I'm going to listen to LBC. And whenever I listen to LBC, she's like, she's just not having it. I mean, I remember when my dad would listen to LBC in the car and I'd be like, seriously, put music on. I feel like today is a much more positive day in terms of like my mental health and my mindset um i feel like we're all gonna have really down days during this especially when the country does go into like proper lockdown i'm gonna be rambling here aren't i a few days ago i just had a feeling like i kept in our whatsapp group we've got like a youtube mum whatsapp group uh, and i kept saying like i feel like i need to cry but i can't like i just felt a little bit numb you guys know it doesn't take a lot to set me off anyway uh, but i just felt like i couldn't i just felt really really numb to it for some reason just a bit overwhelmed yesterday i was just up and down completely like i'd be crying one minute then i'd be fine then mike would say something to me and i'd cry and then i'd be fine and then mike actually took the kids out to his parents last night it was his birthday i just burst like literally burst into tears as soon as they left i felt like it all just been building up and it was just it just came out and i feel like i just want to emphasize like obviously i'm no professional or anything like that um but it is normal to feel like this like we're going through a huge thing there's just levels of pressure on everybody and it's okay to feel the feels park is actually looking busier than I'm, ever I'm here. Slide. We're gonna go on the slide. Come on then. Good job. Look at that jumping. Are you sleeping at the park? Right. <laughs> have you got some little crisps, haven't you? Are they yummy? Mm. Yeah, you wanted to have a picnic, didn't you? <laughs> 
Mummy's got coffee and breakfast. Oh dear. What are we going to do, Everly? We're going to have to find so many activities to do, aren't we? No. What's your favourite thing to do at home? Dance. You like to do dancing? Yeah. Frozen 2 dancing? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So we could do lots of dancing then. Maybe Mummy can learn to get some rhythm. Give me money. You want to give me money? Okay, there's my money. There we go. Oh, thank you. I bought the crisps. Thank you very much, little Miss Shopkeeper. <laughs> you want more money? That's not how this works. So we're done at the park and it was actually so nice, very freezing cold, but very nice just to have fresh air and just to talk to a bunch of mums, like I didn't know any of them, um, I've never met them before, but it was just really, really nice just to chat to them about what's going on and just kind of realise that actually all of us parents, like if everyone, we're all in the same boat, it's all unknown territory for all of us. It was really reassuring to kind of find that everything they were saying was exactly how I was feeling um, and I think the general consensus is let's just kind of not put pressure on us all the kids like there's enough going on to add like piles of pressure on as well like yeah do learning with them get what they need to do done but play and just enjoy them because as much as it's stressful for us it is for them too and we just need to be easy on ourselves easy on them and just hope for an easy life really <laughs> on that note let me just show you some of the things i bought so i got this a crazy art um slime thing make your own ultimate unicorn super gooey fun i actually got that in sainsbury's i think it was reduced down to six pounds you can get them in like argos and everything um i got a game because I thought that would be fun, that would be a good activity. Harrison loves games um, and I've heard that Dobble is a good a good one for his age. So I got that. Um, I managed to get some of these, the Lego Dots. I think these are new out. Um, and yeah, they'll keep him occupied. And actually they can kind of go down as like a, a DT or an art thing. We can even use them in maths. Got these, I thought we could make some Easter cards and crafts. Um, this game here, mostly for Evely I guess because It'll be nice for her to have little games that she can play too, although they are three plus, but we'll figure it out. Um, they're not, they were just in the car. Um, paint brushes, glitters, blank cards. I thought we could have like an Easter egg hunt one day with little treats. Lots of Easter things, as you can imagine, the shops have got lots of Easter stuff. It's PVA glue. I picked up these little cardboard letters in. Um, hobby craft as well i think they were like one pound 20 each but i thought you know what they'll enjoy coloring those or painting those or whatever it is they want to do just a couple of experiments and that is it i mean i don't mean that is it that is a lot of stuff and this by no means means that you have to go out and buy stuff like kids don't need that they really don't they can use some pasta although i'm not sure you want to waste your pasta right now just anything around the house i'm really sorry that today's video has been very very much coronavirus related but i think going forward it, it i had to kind of i had to do this vlog um because we kind of have to address where we're at our situation um and where we are going forward it's quite nice just to know that as of like next week's vlogs um that we haven't really got to talk about this stuff we can just go into like normality because that is what it's going to be isn't it from next week it's going to be everyone's normal it is nap time now though for Evelyn, not me i wish um so i'm gonna get this little lady home her to bed do some tidying up because it needs it the house <laughs> making myself a little cheese toasty oh <laughs> maybe slightly over <laughs> pick up time now i'm very very excited to go and get harrison although i've got like a i don't know like a butterfly feeling in my stomach 
I'm gonna try not to get upset though. I want to be like excited for him. Um, I am excited. It's gonna be really nice to spend time um, with him. Look who is home. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What's gonna happen now, do you know? Um, so, the school shut in because the virus. Yeah. So, now we do our homework at home. Whoa, so that means I'm your teacher? Yeah. I find out, me. Yeah. I can't wait. Me too. So Harrison has just discovered that Sky TV now has YouTube Kids, which I think is perfect timing. Um, very well played, Sky. Um, and yeah, do you know what? I feel like a weight has been lifted. Actually, I, I feel all right, guys. I feel like actually, I feel like I had my moment, and now it's passed. Now I'm very positive pants about this whole situation. We're going to have so much fun, aren't we, H? Cannot wait. And Everly's excited that you're going to have your brother at home, aren't you? Why? He's not going to be going to school. He's going to be at home with Mummy and Daddy and Everly. Quite good. Oh, thanks for your last bit of pear. I collected the remaining things for the other kids that weren't in school. Um, so I'm going to call their parents to pick up or to go and drop them on their doorsteps. Um, and I think I'm going to call today's vlog a day. I'm going to go and sit with Harrison um, and start <laughs> as we kind of mean to go on. I'm just going to go and chill out with him for a little while. Make him a nice fun dinner. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too too much of a downer um i promise from here onwards it is going to be more fun and no mention of maybe just a little bit um but yeah do subscribe if you're not already give me a thumbs up comment below let's chat let's get everything out and just kind of help each other through what is a bit of a situation um and i will see you guys very 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 soon